So the next thing they might ask you to do with the normal distributions is from a graph kind of estimate a proportion of the population or a proportion of the group or survey or whatever it is that is, you know, under, above, or in between certain values. And that word proportion, keep in mind it's basically the same thing as probability and we find it in the same way where it's just the proportion is equal to the part over the total. So, to find the part, we need to read the values off the graph um, in the region that we're looking for. And we're going to add up the y values. So, if we take a look at this graph, this is the frequency of birth weight, and this is the birth weight of 32 lambs total. So along the bottom we have the actual weights, and along the edges here, along the y, we have the number of lambs, basically. So if I go along here, I could say that, well, between these two values, I have a total of one lamb that was born with a weight between that value, between those values. Here I've got six lambs, I've got eight, and another eight lambs between those values. Six again, two here, and maybe again one lamb out there. And this is roughly normal in its shape, but again what they're asking us here is to estimate the proportion of lambs that are less than 100, sorry, 1.25 kgs. So let's think about what that is, 1.25 kgs. If we try to read these scales, I notice that 1.2 is right in the middle, and 1.3 is right in the middle of the next one, so halfway between those two, that's the 1.25. So I want to know if this is 1.25 the proportion of lambs that are less than that value, so everybody below that line, and in this case that is just one lamb out of the 32 total. So that's one out of 32. And if you put that into your calculator, 0 0.03125. So that would be the proportion of lambs that are less than 1.25 kgs. The next question, they ask us to estimate the proportion of lambs between 1.35 kgs and 1.65 kgs. So, first thing we might do is figure out what that is on the scale. There's the 1.3, and then 1.4, so 1.35 is halfway between. And then the other number I've got is the 1.65, so that's going to be halfway between 1.6 and 1.7. So I'm basically looking for the number of lambs that are between those two values, which is all this stuff in there. And if I add that up, 8 plus 8 gets me to 16, plus another 6 gets me to 22. So 22 out of 32 would be my fraction. And in the calculator, 0 0.6875 would be the proportion. So when you're doing these uh, estimations, again, the important thing is to just find those cutoff values that they're looking for, like we did here, below 1.25, find out the total number of people on that graph, and then put that over the total number possible. So again, it's always part out of total. If you're looking for values between certain numbers, find out the number, in this case, of lambs between 1.35 and 1.65 out of the total number possible.